Your health and your health matters. You know your body, right? <clears throat> no one knows your body the way you know your body. And I am tired of the narrative of just because I'm overweight and I'm obese, it is the reason why. So my doctor, my former doctor, when I was the 200, I'm gonna get up for a minute. When I was the 296 pounds and my knee was killing me and um, I had, you know, inflammation, a lot of swelling around my ankles around my calves, everything. And it was my weight. I lose weight, my knees will feel better. I lose weight, my calves will go down. I lose weight, everything was just lose weight. So as I'm losing the weight and I'm going down, I'm still having problems with my knee. And I'm telling her like, Listen, you told me to lose weight, but my knee still hurts. Why is my knee still hurting? It has nothing to do with my weight. Oh, Chandra, Chandra, Chandra. I'm like, look, something is going on with my knee. So, and I'm the person that even though I was at the size that I was, I still had my yearly physicals. I still did um, what I was supposed to do, even though I wasn't doing what I should have been doing, not to be so big, right? So I thank God that I didn't suffer from high blood pressure, didn't suffer from diabetes, didn't suffer from high cholesterol, God was on me. He was watching out for me because as big as I was and unhealthy as I was, I didn't have any of the normal health risks that comes with being that size. So anyway, I uh, so Ooh. Hey, so uh, I'm the one that I have learned over the years that words have power. It's in the word, right? I do believe in God, I believe in Jesus Christ. Uh, I am not uh, here to preach to you or to teach you the word. However, I'm just letting you know what I believe and who I believe in. And I'm just glad you watched over me, but let me go back to the story. So it's time for my yearly physical. I'm still having problems with my knee. I only see this doctor once a year, right? So I made an appointment took me, and I like to get everything done in April. Since my birthday is in April, I like to get all my checkups and stuff done the month of my birthday. So, I made an appointment for March. She canceled, it had to be in April. I made the appointment in April. She canceled, had to be in May. Made the appointment for May. 
she wanted to rearrange. I said, you know, at this point, I'm just going to find another doctor. And I found another doctor, and he did one simple examination. I laid down. He picked my leg up. He went back. He turned it. I was in so much pain. Went and had an x-ray the same day. Diagnosed. 24 hours later, went back the next week, and we started coming up with a plan that was specialized for me. I say all that to say, you know your body. When you go to the doctor and you say something is wrong, I need you to keep going until they hear you until they hear what's going on. Because some things are attributed to your weight and a lot of things are there, some things are not. But that should not be the only reason why something is happening. Now, I've lost 100 pounds I've lost over 100 pounds and I still got a bad knee. So you're telling me to lose weight. Well, if you lose weight, you won't have the problem in your knee. Okay, I lost the weight. My knee still hurts. <coughs> so what's the issue now? You tell me what's the issue. Because I've been telling you for three years, I've been having this knee, this knee pain. You've been telling me for three years, it's not a pain there. Is fat. You're the doctor. How this is my body. And I got teary eyed because it made me think of my mom. My mother is no longer here. Um, and I am still at five stages of grief. There's one stage I can't get past, and that's negotiation. I wish I had more time. I need more time. However, my mom had this cough. She could not get rid of this cough, but she wasn't sick. And she kept going to the doctor. And She kept going to the doctor, saying, doctor, what's going on with this cough? Why can't, why am I coughing? Why am I coughing? And the doctor looking at her knee, looking at this, looking at that, couldn't tell her. And I used to call my mama Shorty. All right, I'm kind of, okay, Shorty Rock. She was all about 4'11", but she had five feet on her uh, she had five feet on her, her ID and driver's license. I'm going to add more resistance and I'm just going to crunch down. What I mean by crunching down, if you can just, again, no death grip, you're not going to fall, all right? I want you to just take your elbow and just go over to the side. Just, you know, because you still have to be in. So just... Go over to the side and just crunch to the side. So that's why my obliques is looking good. I need to start working on my mid part. But after this workout, I am going to do a uh, 10 to 15 minute standing ab workout that's going to be pre recorded. But anyway, let me get back to the story. So my mom. She uh, couldn't get rid of this car. And come to find out, I called a shorty rough. She said, you know what? You've been telling me this. You've been telling me that. And I still have this car. I'm not leaving here until somebody tell me why I can't get rid of this car. Right? When she finally did that, that's when we found out 
that she had inoperable cancer that had uh, was spread all over her body. It was in her spine, it was in her livers, it was in her kidneys, it was in her lungs, it was in her head. Not to say that it probably wouldn't have been. We don't know what it could have been. But she had to finally say, tell me what's wrong. Something is going on with my body. And I thought about my mother when I said, you're not going to keep telling me this is my weight. You're not going to keep telling me that. It's something going on with my knee. And I need my knee checked out. And if you're not going to check my knee out, then I'm going to go somewhere else. But stop telling me it's because I'm fat. Because that's basically what you're saying. I was trying to make you just fat. Well, no, that's what she said. She told me. She told me, she said, I said, God, that there's something wrong. Because my knee, I had this knee pain and all this swelling in my my ankles, and she said, <coughs> she said, oh, Chandra, there's nothing wrong with that. You got to lose weight. And you know what I said? Okay, doctor. I lost the weight. And now I try compartmental osteoarthritis. I could have came up with a plan three years ago for this. Three years ago. However, I'm here now. But you have to be an advocate for you. You have to be an advocate for you. You know you more and better than anybody knows you. So you be the advocate that you need to be. Okay? And that's why I told this story. And that's why I continue to tell this story. Be your own advocate. Now what I'm going to do... Why I'm sitting now is I'm gonna crunch some more. I'm gonna go to the side and then go straight down. Each side, wait, hold on. Down, down, down. Huh, down, woo, hey. I love doing ad work on my bike. You're always working your core. People don't realize that. You're doing core workout with everything that you do. I can't wait to start sharing different, uh, oh, oh, thank you. What's that, trans? Ah, uh, ah, uh -huh. huh. Uh, okay. He didn't throw me off. I expect him to be watching me. But uh, you're always working your core with ever and everything that you do. And in a couple of weeks, I'm going to move out of here. Well, we're still going to be here. But I'm going to start taking you in the kitchen so we can uh, work on some recipes and, and create things for ourselves that are help. Because this is the thing. And they say it, and it's so true, and I hate to hear it, but I'm going to say it. Abs are made in the kitchen. Abs are made in the kitchen. Abs are made in the kitchen. However, on top of that, all of this is in the kitchen. This part of the fitness lifestyle, this part of your fitness journey is only about 20% of what you have to do. The other 80% is what you eat, what you drink, and your sleep. Sleep is so important to fitness. Staying hydrated 
and drinking your water is so important to fitness. And the food you eat is important to your fitness. You can come in here and work six hours a day. You're not eating the right foods. You're doing all that work in vain. What they say, you just doing it for the gram, boy. Do they say that? Do they say that? I don't know. I am, I am 54 years old with, I don't know, the spirit of a, a I don't know, I feel like I'm in my 20s. My body is short for letting me know that I'm not, but that's what I feel. However, I won't let go of the sayings that I used to say from the 20s. I won't, I won't let them go. I still keep them. Okay. So, you know what? We only have 19 minutes to go. And I just want to go back to your health is very important, it's very important to get yearly checkups, to have a yearly physical every single year. I love this song. Woo! Oh, huh, wait.
name or uh, well, I know, well, I already said was my cousin. But they found out that they had diabetes by going into a diabetic coma. Never had a physical. Wasn't a big person. Is not a big person. Not out of shape. Boom. Just like that. Don't let that be your story. Don't let that be your story. Have a yearly physical every single year. All right. I love you. Be peace. Be love. Be great. Be a blessing in someone's life. Later. Fly, fly, fly.